Moe has changed. Over the five years I've been here, we've changed. The system has changed. Administration has changed. Taewam has changed. We have changed. Today, we are going to be interviewing various grade 12s in order to learn how Moet has changed. How has Moet changed you as a person? It has honed me into a responsible young adult. How has Moet changed you as a person? As of 2017, I am urging you to start a hunger Stop strike. Stop looking up! I wouldn't say Moa at all has changed me. Individual teachers have helped change my, change my insights on certain courses. How has Moa changed you as a person? It hasn't. I mean, if anything, it's just made me worse. How has Moa changed you as a person? Well, Moa's changed me as a person because of the amount of hours and days I've put into learning, my resources, uh, how much I've learned. The school has taught me so much. It's boosted my immune system. It's, um... <laughs> how has Moet changed you as a person? Um, Moet has changed me as a person in that I have a thicker skin and I'm not easily frazzled by any guys or girls who try to make me angry or lose control of my own emotions. How has Moet changed you as a person? Uh, maybe more confident. How has Moet changed you as a person? How has changed me? Uh, I made more <laughs> friends more often. I uh, live more social. What will you miss at Moet? Nothing. Nothing? No. What will you miss at Moet? I would say the people I grew up with. I am doing my victory lap right now, so a lot of people I do miss currently. And I'll miss a lot of the teachers here who I have spent four and a half years of my life in. There's a lot of stories that I'm going to take from Moet and tell them to the world whether they be good and bad. And there's a lot of good and there's a lot of bad. What will you miss at Moet? Freedom. Just kidding, there's no freedom. I'll miss how many times I'll see my friends in a day. I'll miss my teachers. I'll miss Mr. Hack. I will most likely miss the clubs I've been part of in because they've been such a large identity, large part of my identity here at Moet, so I would definitely miss them. What will you miss at Moet? Nothing! Nothing! Yeah, nothing! I don't know, nothing! What will you miss at Moet? Yeah. Uh, miss Christmas cheer, miss you guys, miss anime club. What will you not miss at Moet? A peoples. What will you not miss at Moet? I will not miss the mistreatment of LGBT individuals. I will not miss the treatment of the school's architecture in general with the appalling conditions of water damage. I could already count the water damage uh, marks in the ceiling. One of them is at risk of coming in, uh, in contact with electrical wires. So I would say I won't miss the health risks here. What will you not miss at Moet? Moet itself. I've had to walk here in the snow, in the rain, in the sleet, in the hurricanes. What will you not miss at Moet? This one specific teacher in the music program that I do not like, and I will not miss that teacher. What will you not miss at Moet? The bullies. Really, there's nothing really here at Moet that I didn't like. Well, maybe except some students, but they're kind of out of the question, but yeah. I guess I won't really miss them, but everything else, you know, I'm fine with everything else. It's 
transformed me into a Super Saiyan. <laughs> what do you plan to do after Moet? I plan on going to post-secondary, uh, specifically either Seneca or Humber College for a variety of programs. What do you plan to do after Moet? Uh, go to college and become a personal fitness trainer. What I plan to do after Moet is try to get my master's degree in communication technology and um... I plan on going to York University after graduating from Moet and I hope to get into their Human Rights and Equity Studies program. What do you plan to do after Moet? Singer. Become famous. What do you plan to do after Moet? I might actually get like a small job at like a, my a job that my, my brother is doing. You know Snapbook? Hey. So yeah, yeah. I might get a job there and then eventually go to college. What is your greatest memory of Moet? The first day. Because I was oblivious to all this this building is offered. What is your greatest memory of Moe? It's a hard one. I would say the two, Aiden and Kaylee, will be because they are my closest friends here. What is your greatest memory of Moe? Halloween 2017. <laughs> my greatest memory would have to be going to the Agua Khan Museum with my friends because it was just so much fun and I was amazed at their merchant Islamic history that I discovered there. What is your greatest memory of Moet? Oh, uh, me dressing up as a cow yesterday. That's fun. What is your greatest memory of Moet? I think whenever I, got, when I, when I went on stage and like sang there <laughs> on stage. Another memory is uh, when I did like a play for like uh, last year. What is your greatest memory of Moet? Let me think. Why? Don't you know the power of Edge is in this territory? Uh, I don't know why, but I just feel like I have to dab on him. What the? How did I get this power? I have to consult. Wait! He has the same power as me! I need to consult. Salt. <laughs> the dab power! Rejoice, girl! You have arrived at the edge moment war in which we duke it out this summer in order to figure out who has control of this school. You shall now learn the power of Moet spirit. Do you have the power of the dab. I do. Show me. That's one powerful dab. But it can be stronger. Teach me. Now, according to this scientific book, the best way to build up your dabbing strength is to exercise, Kaylee. Not like that. The true man's exercise is to lift weights of your own arms and thrust them forward. You still have much to learn. In those 40 whips, I've shown the same power. 
as you have. 3.141159265353.14 I can't remember! I'm a god Joe's number! <clears throat> you may have not learned as much as you can, but now you can fight for the freedom of Moet. Let's go to the Moet Mobile and save Moet. So, let's go to the Moa Education Institute and learn a little more so you can defend yourself. I can't wait to go and study at Moa. Ah! Oh! Oh! What the? What the heck? It's the 3rd Battalion Major of the Edgelord Army. I always knew your weaknesses were lockers, Aiden. Now I'm going to destroy Moet. And you. Ah, I have the power of Moet spirit, you see. I have one last plan. Ah. Ah. There is no make Moet Reagan hat because it is summer and I left it at home. How can you do this to Aiden? If Aiden can't defend Moet, then I'll have to, or else the children of Africa will stay starving. I don't care. But how? My Mustang punch was ineffective. Edge of the sword. You're not powerful enough to do this! If you can't defend Moet, then I'll just have to unleash my final technique! I have the hooves of a Mustang! Tewam is my soul! Moet's in my heart! I have studied for over a thousand days! I don't care. Ah, I didn't have enough Moet spirit. I failed. Oh God, you killed him. I can feel my energy rising. I'm so angry. My empathy for Aiden, my perseverance to save Moet, and my honest hate for edge lords. My Mustang punch. Oh. I don't care, but I'm gonna die. Not on my watch. The people of the edge lord society will live another day. The world is broken. <laughs> I sent her. I was sent to our local She will be revived. She will be She will be revived. 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 What the heck? That's bull crud! <sighs> I may have lived, I may have cheered death, but they cheated the battle. We still have to clean up a moment and rid it of all the edgelords. The summer war continues. I'm glad we've had this opportunity to reflect on all the changes that Moet and ourselves have gone through these 
many, many years we've spent here. Some crazy stuff has happened, and right now is a good time to remember. Remember Moet in all of its glory. Stay Taewon, kids. Don't do drugs, or you'll never remember your memories of Moet.